Hello, I am Dr. Deepak Raina. I am working as a senior consultant in orthopedics and head the department of hip services in ISIC. I have been working here for the last 17 years. Uh, today I am going to talk, talk about common hip problems that we face. Uh, there are basically two categories of hip issues that we face. One is in a younger population wherein because of various pre-existing diseases or various other ailments the hip cartilage starts to erode that's called as hip arthritis generally in our population settings it is secondary to either rheumatoid arthritis or related diseases like ankylosing spondylitis and other diseases we also have a very significant amount of avascular necrosis in our population where the blood flow to the head decreases leads to arthritis the second group of patients include elderly population who come to us mainly with fractures in the hip due to osteoporosis. Okay, So how do we deal with them and how do we prevent these problems? One in a younger population, any pain starting early in, uh, in life should be addressed. You should go to the doctor and get it treated. If it's treated early, it may not lead to arthritis and you may not need a major surgery for the hip. It can be treated, most of the times it can be treated with medications. In elderly populations, prevention of osteoporosis, prevention of fall, uh, their cognitive behavior has to be monitored. So to prevent osteoporosis, a healthy diet, regular exercises, regular intake of medicines as prescribed, supplements of calcium and other products should be encouraged to prevent fractures. Now the question is if such a disease occurs either in young or in elderly what do we do? So in hip arthritis there are various treatments that we can do depending upon the severity and the grade of arthritis. If it's localized to one area we can just repair that area or just that's called cleaning that area that's called debridement. Otherwise if it's extensive a procedure called hip replacement can be done. In elderly population with fractures around the hip due to osteoporosis, again various surgeries should be done. We should not sit at home in case you suspect a fracture in an elderly person it should be taken to the hospital and immediate remedy can be done. The treatment with surgeries involves immediate mobilization we can immediately start weight bearing after the fracture and they can have a normal decent life after the surgery so even if you have hip problems hip replacement and hip fracture surgeries have advanced to the extent that a patient can have a normal life after that thank you